Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have a book from Asion Press. This one's entitled Landscapes of War, The Greatest Guide, Dioramas, by Rodrigo Hernandez Cabos. Um, this is volume two, uh, and down below here it says Hyperrealism in Nature. I think there's supposed to be an E on the end there. This is the English... Um, uh, American English, American and British English version. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, which it's actually formatted in. Uh, I'm guessing probably British English, but uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. We can look for some, some typical words. Um, you can see it's a very thick uh, softcover book. Um, it is about uh, 100 and uh, a bit pages. Actually, 199, almost 200 pages. So 200 pages. Uh, interesting photo here in the back, probably one of the authors finding a mushroom in some trees. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, they've got a little biography section here. But let's look, take a look at the table of contents real quick. Uh, we've got Rommel in Tunisia, wadi and palm trees, base ground, grass, stones, direct application, uh, model scene, ammo product on a simple base, the Ardennes ice and icicles, the Ardennes, the Ardennes autumn, uh, Hurtgren forests, Hurtgen, 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 I'm guessing there. Forest, autumn 1944, mushrooms, mosses, and lichens. Uh, Belarus, uh, September 1944, uh, rocky base with numerous water courses. Uh, ivy, always present. Ferns, Normandy, the bocage, bocage, the bocage, uh, and thematic index. So, um, you know, basically, uh, the book is going to be high quality in terms of photos and uh, modeling examples and so forth. Uh, good production printing. I'm not seeing any issues looking at the book. It uh, looks like it's very well put together, so uh, no worries there. Uh, the English translations, let's see. Well, let's take a look at this first one. Uh, this says, The end of the DAC took place in Tunisia. The German forces were under the grip of the British Army on the south and the U.S. Army on the west, and Tunisia was the scenario of their defeat. They always undermanned Germ the always undermanned German army in Africa was defeated, although it is fair to remind everyone that both the British and the Americans suffered considerable losses during the fighting, especially in North Africa. Additionally, the loss of war material was destroyed, abandoned, or fell directly in German hands. So you can see it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, uh, not, not, the, not the best translations in the world, uh, but... Uh, that probably wasn't a good example paragraph, but you know there were some, there were a few little small grammatical errors there. But you know it's, it's what we've kind of come to expect from these modeling publications. They do not have budgets that are you know like you know out there like major book publishers, and so they they can't always hire you know the best translation that they can get. Um, but you know I think it's I think it's still adequate. It's not you know it's not like it's going to make the book unenjoyable to read or anything like that. So that's that it's not it's really a non-issue. Uh, now if it's, it, if it's in the technique sections that there are, um, you know, problems with verbiage and, and grammar and stuff, they can be a little more problematic. But the fact that a lot of these are step by steps showing you essentially photo steps, uh, it, it does kind of help in that regard. It's not like you're just reading, um, you know, um, you, you will use this as an example, too, uh, just to just kind of follow along. Um, the piece uh, will still need to be about 24 hours to settle and loose and and loose most of the water, lose most of the water, obviously they meant to say, uh, it, that it is still contains. Uh, the piece may may have some bubbles, which can be easily filled with uh, Dos Pronto Pace, a brand, um, or, or a little leftover plaster mixture. The easiest thing to do is to cut it away while the material is still soft enough. Uh, we can also clean and make uh, even surfaces by applying vertical pressure with a steel hairbrush. Careful not, not to drag this brush or you will get some nasty parallel lines. So again, I'd say that's 90, 95% uh, fine. So, you know, I don't, I don't think uh, grammar wise, uh, looks like you're going to run into issues, at least with the limited bits we've read here. Uh, and I'm sorry, I don't have time to read all these books like through all the way. Uh, I wish I could, but I've got a stack of about 20 of them here. So you can see, I, I just don't have the time to, to read them. Uh, but that's why I want to give you guys as much of an uh, kind of an inside look as I can give you. Uh, in, in these short videos uh, without a lot of, uh, obviously, time it would take to do more detailed uh, write-ups and things. Although I have to say for the books like this, where there are, um, where there are a lot of pages, a lot of techniques and, and so forth, I, I, we don't mind you know sending these off for review with, with the bigger books. Some of the 
Uh, obviously, the, the weight of the book depends. Like, I'm, I'm doubtful I'm going to send this back to Europe, being it's, it's rather uh, heavy and would be rather costly. But uh, certainly, if someone here in the U.S. or North America asked for it, I would definitely consider it uh, if they wanted to do a more complete uh, review or even maybe even like do one of these projects and see how they come out and that kind of thing by using the book as a as a guide. Um, you can see this is an example, obviously, of some some desert. Uh, uh, desert bushes or trees, I guess, uh, kind of look a little like um, our, um, uh, what are those darn things called out here in the desert? There's a name for them. There used to be a, used to be a band or the band had a song. I can't remember it right off the top of my head, but yeah, anyways. Um, <laughs> but we have a similar tree anyways. So uh, yeah, you can see real, you know, just looking through a um, lot of, a lot of you know, basically what the book says it is, landscape, um, diorama uh, techniques and so forth, and just a lot of them, a lot of techniques uh, and some great model making and diorama making in here to to highlight uh, those techniques. So, uh, yeah, I think I think for diorama, especially for anybody who does like landscapes and terrain, this book would be a no brainer. Uh, question is, you know, how much it's going to be and, where you know, where you can get access to it and so forth, or where you can buy it. Um, right now, probably, I know you can get it uh, probably through the Euro Modelismo website. Um, I'll put the links down below for any locations I know where it's available. Uh, I don't have a price on this, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be in the 30 to 50 uh, euro or dollar range. Uh, but that's just a guess. So uh, take a look for it online, or I'll try to put it in the description as well if I can find one. Uh, our thanks to the folks at ASEAN Press for providing this sample. And uh, like I said, it looks like a great book. I won't mind keeping this in my collection if that's the way it turns out. So uh, <laughs> don't mind saying. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time on Turning the Page. Turning the Page.